right. Well, it's a little party we throw every summer. We survived another year. That is uh, from B93 Birthday Bash quite a few years ago. And this is actually the biggest picture of Bash. If you back out a little bit, uh, this is one of those 360 degree picks. And although you get a little reflection on here, if you notice on the far end, you got these two ladies on this end over here, lady in the blue shirt, lady in the white shirt. And then you come all the way down through the crowd, all those Bash t shirts, all that fun. And then there they are at the end. <laughs> they had their doppelgangers there. Actually, uh, that's a 360 picture from B93 Birthday Bash. I'm Conrad. We do a, a video blog once in a while. This is kind of a, a different thing because our B93 Roof Sit for Kids is coming up again. Uh, above that picture are some of the pictures of uh, last year at B93 Roof Sit for Kids. And uh, that's my wife Susan right here. She is uh, Neil's kind of right hand person on the uh, roof. Right here is uh, one of the soldiers that was able to stop by and, and make a donation and uh, it's you know all about family. Uh, Neil is right here and he's the one that's up on the roof to try to make a difference and here we are here and there's a sign we have by the freeway to let you know it's happening. Alright, uh, this video you're about to see is a bit older. It's back from kind of the middle days of B93 and uh, it's kind of what the B93 roof sit is all about and we played this in schools and some other things and we thought it would be a cool thing for you to share and catch up on what the B93 Roof Sit for Kids is all about. It's for the prevention of child abuse and neglect. Uh, I'm Conrad. I hope you enjoy this video. Heavenly Father, grant us the strength and character to fulfill our mission. The mission of protecting your most precious gift, the lives of your blessed children. When I was nine, I was raped by my dad, and it was it was really hard. And I'm 17 now, and I still live with the nightmares. And just a couple years ago, my mom left, and both of my brothers are in jail. So I really, I don't have a family to turn to, and you guys, I appreciate everything you guys are doing. <laughs> Lord, please heal the survivors who know all too well the horrors of which we speak. If you save even one kid, it'll be worth it. Because I know, I know what those kids go through. I was there. I just about lost everything this year. I broke down almost completely. And... It affected me physically, but I'm getting better. Above all, dear Lord, love and protect those who cannot protect themselves so that they may know peace, love, and self-worth. Hallelujah. God bless the child. All right, West Michigan, let's go to work. Thanks, Greenville. We'll see you in Belding at 245. Reese Rickards on the B93 Country Caravan. The Billy Dean Lakeshore Express making its final stop. We're going to be there in about uh, five. Dave, don't kill us first in the car. <laughs> <laughs> There's Taft on the B93 Country Caravan. Ah! Originally, I, I contacted every uh, child welfare organization that I could find in Michigan and offered them an idea. And that idea was a roof sit to benefit uh, victims of child abuse and neglect. And uh, basically everybody said I was a nut. <laughs> and it would never work and never to bother them again. Um, that all changed when I got a hold of uh, David Mills. Uh, David listened to what I had to say. And he said, you know, my mom always said I was a dreamer. Let us dare to dream together. And uh, we've been friends ever since, and I say this about him all the time, it probably embarrasses him, but he is the best friend a kid ever had. What this event has been based on is, is to put the issue in the hands of the family, of the listening audience. And every time we had a logistical problem, uh, all we did was have Neil go on the air and say to the, to the listening audience, so we've got a problem, and you know, here's the problem, and we don't know what to do about it without exception for seven years now every time we've done that the family solves a problem 
whether it's uh, we don't have anything cool to drink for the phone volunteers or major big kinds of issues. Every time they have risen to the occasion. And I, the dream that I sensed in Neil was that the people are the solution to the problem and we just need to, to take the message to them and they'll solve it. I was molested when I was eight and then raped when I was nine. I didn't deal with it for a long, long time, and when I finally heard your guys' roof sit, it made me deal with it, and it has made the world of difference. You guys really have helped me heal, and it's made me a better mother. It really does help people. If we don't raise another nickel, this whole event just paid for itself. I'm feeling something really incredible happening here. so. Let's go, make them ring, make them ring. 1-800-B-93-KIDS. Oh! It's B-93's Conrad. Oh, and Taylor. We're on the road with the B-93 nighttime caravan. Uh, thank you again, Allendale. We are back on the road. Bill Maher in Borculo, you are on deck. We're headed your way right now. Oh! Call 1-800-B-93-KIDS. John's firing up the grill right now for the B93 family reunion here at Millbrook Tack and Trailer. We're going to burn some dogs tonight. <laughs> A weary mother returned from the store, lugging groceries through the kitchen door. Awaiting her arrival was her eight year old son, anxious to relate what his younger brother had done. While I was out playing and dad was on a call, TJ took his crayons and he wrote on the wall It's on the new paper you just hung in the den. I told him you'd be mad at having to do it again. She let out a moan and furrowed her brow. Where's your little brother right now? She emptied her arms and with a purposeful stride, she marched to his closet where he had gone to hide. She called his full name as she entered his room. He trembled with fear. He knew that meant doom. For the next 10 minutes, she ranted and raved about the expensive wallpaper and how she had saved, lamenting all the work it would take to repair. She condemned his actions and total lack of care. The more she scolded, the madder she got, then stomped from his room totally distraught. She headed for the den to confirm her fears. When she saw the wall, her eyes flooded with tears. The message she read pierced her soul with a dart. It said, I love you, Mommy, surrounded by a heart. Well, the wallpaper remained just as she found it, with an empty picture frame hung to surround it, a reminder to her, and indeed to all, take time to read the handwriting on the wall. Uh, child abuse and neglect is not uh, the kind of problem where there is an enemy. I mean, that's kind of a funny thing to say because certainly I don't, I don't condone the things that parents do that are considered child abuse and neglect. People don't start out that way. People don't start out wanting to beat their kids or neglect their kids or misuse their kids. They start out scared and alone and without support and without knowledge and one thing leads to another and that's the mess we end up in. And so if a community becomes concerned and says we're not going to let that happen here we're going to provide respite care for people who need it we're going to provide parenting education classes we're going to provide home visitors uh, parents people who are becoming parents want to be good parents and if the community will will gather around them like a nurturing family and help them give them the support and and training and, and education they need then we can stop the problem because we can prevent it before it ever happens. Thank you. Thank you for doing what you are. I appreciate it so much. The Roof Sit is an incredible event for two reasons. One, we're able to raise a lot of money, which helps a lot of children and a lot of families. Try to put families back together, teach young people how to be good parents, teach them parenting skills, and save some babies. That's what this is all about, what we're trying to do. We've also learned that aside from the money, the awareness level that's attained during the event is incredible. You know, when you when you completely donate a, a radio station the size of B93 that covers five states in Canada with 320,000 watts, the awareness level is amazing. We've noticed that 
uh, because of our message on the air day and night over these couple of days, that we actually see the cases of child abuse and neglect drop as much as 50% during the event and for as long a period as perhaps six months. So I think the more important thing here is explaining to people what abuse is. And I've had calls from people who have said, you know, thank God for this event. I thought I was disciplining my children because that's the way I was raised. I did not realize until this moment that I am an abuser. And it stops today, right now. Where country cares for kids. Oh.